Satan's Scare Tactics. The letters of the word scare provide an acronym revealing Satan's tactics against the Word of God. S. Subtracting from God's Word. C. Changing the context of God's words. A. Adding to God's words. R. Replacing God's words. And E. Eliminating entire verses. Keeping the words of the Lord. The first three verses of Revelation read, The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel, unto his servant John, who bare record of the word of God, and of the testimony of Jesus Christ, and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. The King James Version keeps those things which are written. What do the modern versions do? The top chart identifies verses that have been altered in the book of Revelation. The bottom chart lists 15 key words and phrases that have been altered in the Bible versions listed. On this information board, the top chart lists 48 verses removed in the modern Bible versions, either within the text or by a footnote. The bottom chart reveals places where the word holy is removed from many of the modern versions. You have to ask yourself, do you have a whole and holy Bible? The Bibles of the martyrs were of one accord, of one mind. The information in this binder compares 48 verses from the King James Bible that have been either removed from the text of the modern Bible versions or have been seriously weakened with a footnote. Were these verses found in historic English Bibles of our Christian ancestors? Were they found in the Bibles of other languages of that era? Were they found in the Bibles of those martyred for the Word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ? Don't let the new Bibles remove the ancient landmark which our Christian forefathers have set. Daniel chapter 10 verse 21 says, I will show thee that which is noted in the scripture of truth. I'm trying to show you in this binder where there's various English translations and various foreign language translations from the Nuremberg Polygod of 1599. Just leaf through it and compare and see if you have the scripture of truth. On display is a copy of the 1865 Parallel Early English Gospels. It includes a comparison of four of the English Gospels, Gothic from the Greek of 360 AD, Anglo-Saxon from the Old Latin of 995 AD, Wycliffe's Gospels of 1380, and Tyndall's Gospels of 1526. This facsimile of the 1841 English Hexapla compares six English translations the Wycliffe of 1380, Tyndall's of the 1530s, Great Bible 1539, the Geneva Bible 1560, the Reims Bible of 1582, which is a Catholic version, and the King James Bible of 1611. The information in this folder reveals 300 verses from seven popular Bible versions that have been manipulated and mutilated by using Satan's scare tactics. Check it out for yourself. Select a verse from the information. Look at the description of the change, then look up the verses in one of the parallel Bibles provided. See how the modern Bible versions have perverted the words of the living God. Most critics of the King James Bible are quick to note the thousands of changes that have occurred in the text over the centuries in order to justify the changes that are made in the text of the modern versions. All changes are not the same. The changes made in the early editions of the King James Bible, especially the 1629, and the 1638 editions were predominantly for the correction of obvious printing errors. The changes made in the 1762 and the 1769 editions were to standardize the spelling of words that occurred in the English language up to that period. These changes are nothing like the changes being made today by the publishers of the modern Bibles. Their changes must be made to meet the requirements for a new copyright for the publishing company. Many of the changes do not reveal the doctrinal truth found in the correct text of our Christian ancestors but reflect the distorted traditions of the corrupt text of the Church of Rome. Many of the changes dilute the doctrine and weaken the witness of Jesus Christ. This first information board compares verses that deal with the deity of Jesus Christ, the Trinity, the Ascension, sanctification, and justification by faith in Jesus Christ alone. This second information board lists verses that deal with the virgin birth, the incarnation, man, sin, judgment, hell, and Satan. 
The third information board deals with the resurrection, the inerrancy of scripture, the substitutionary atonement, masculine deity, the second coming of Christ, and the gospel. The important doctrinal information from the three boards is contained in the booklet provided. So now you have before you a folder with 300 verses arranged biblically and three information boards with verses arranged doctrinally. Now it's time to compare some verses to determine if all Bibles are the same. Provided are four parallel Bibles to compare verses for yourself. The first is the Comparative Study Bible. It contains the entire Bible of the King James along with three modern translations. This is the copy that I used when I first started my study of the modern Bible issue many, many years ago. You may notice some yellow highlighted text and some red underlining as I put the various texts to the test. The remaining three parallel Bibles contain just the New Testament. They are the Evangelical Parallel New Testament, the Precise Parallel New Testament, and the Contemporary Parallel New Testament. In these four parallel Bibles are a total of 14 different Bible versions for you to compare with the King James Bible. Please take this opportunity to examine some verses for yourself. Don't take my word for it. If you're using a Bible other than the King James, it's important for you to see that all Bibles are not the same.